In response to a lawsuit brought by conservationists, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service determined that the Montana Arctic grayling warrants protection under the Endangered Species Act. However, such protection is revoked in order to list more high-priority species. The September 7th ruling stated that, quote, the Arctic grayling will be classified as a candidate species until a listing proposal can be prepared. Candidate species do not receive statutory protection under the ESA and remain a state-managed species. Director of the Grayling Restoration Alliance, Pat Munday, says that the fish can now be classified as a ghost species. The Montana population, located in the Big Hole River, has slipped below the minimum number of breeding age adults needed to sustain a long-term population. So I'm not real optimistic about, you know, the, the bureaucratic sort of problems with listing grayling. And if we can demonstrate that there are significant impacts that pose an immediate threat to grayling, we'll be able to petition for an emergency listing. Previously, Fish and Wildlife Services have argued that if the Montana population went extinct, the consequences would be insignificant. Monday disagrees, claiming that if the fish was listed, it would accelerate plans to address habitat problems, saving not only the grayling, but entire ecosystems dwelling in the Big Hole River. We've been pretty hard on the land over the last hundred years. So a listing would bring a lot of immediate changes to uh, Forest Service policy in correcting some of the impacts on these headwater streams. In addition to the grayling, there are roughly 244 species waiting to be listed. To date, the Obama administration has finalized protection for one plant and proposed protection for 15 species in the continental United States, which means there will be few listings finalized in the rest of 2010. For Montana Public Radio, I'm Katie Radford.